Today we get to learn about wintergreen. Awesome. Wintergreen is not an oil that I used in the beginning, but once I learned a lot of how to use it, I started using it more. So what do we use it for? First of all, you need to see that it has a safety cap on it. Now why would we have that? Because all oils are safe, right? There are a few oils that if you ingest a large quantity, they cannot be safe. And wintergreen is one of those. So this is, and I think the main reason is because if you try to open it, it just will not open it. You have to push down and then you can take it off. I think that if children smell this, it smells to them like a lifesaver, like the wintergreen lifesavers, and they might think it tastes like candy and might want to drink it. Um, so it's probably a good thing that they have the safety cap on there. That's for our help, right? Okay, so what do we use wintergreen for? First of all, it's great for muscles. So if you massage this into your hands, your legs, um, any place, your back, any place that you're going to use a muscle, right? Those are, we have muscles all over our body. So anywhere you use it, it's gonna help soothe and just really make those muscles feel so much better, either before or after you use them. This contains an ingredient that is very similar to birch. So if you cannot get a hold of birch, because birch is very rare, it's not something that we have a lot of, and you, you can't even buy it through doTERRA. It's something you can only get at convention because it's such a small amount. This has the same properties as birch, so you can use this in place of birch. Is that awesome? Okay, what else can you use this with? Um, apply it to your skin, it reduces the appearances of blemishes. So this is what I have done, okay? I don't get a lot of blemishes, I actually have very dry skin. But if I did, you would just put it on your finger, get like this, and you could just dot it, all right? Or add it with fractionated coconut oil and you'd rub it all over your face. Is that awesome? And the smell of it is great. Okay, what about diffusing it? This has a great, nice, sweet, uplifting, uplifting smell that you could use for all kinds of things. It makes me think of candy. <laughs> because my mom used to suck a lot on those little wintergreen lifesavers, and that's exactly what this smells like. So when you diffuse it, it might bring back memories of those wintergreen lifesavers. The, the other thing that this is used for is a lot of oral health. So you can see how people have used this in toothpaste, or they've used it as, um, a mint or other things that would just make it taste and smell like winter grain. So there you go. There's all kinds of different uses for winter grain. Enjoy.